Chloe Bailey has proven herself as a great dancer and singer with incredible talent multiple times. But whenever she is about to release a new album or song, the old conversation of her being a Beyonce copycat comes about. The debate has been around for so long that we are actually considering the validity of the statement if she's actually talented or is thriving because she's similar to Beyonce. Is Chloe Bailey where she is now because of her undeniable talent or her connections with Beyonce? When Beyonce was still a youngin' in the music industry, she was under the management of her father, and it had an adverse effect on her life. Most of her Destiny's Kids bandmates left the group because of poor management by her father, Matthew Knowles, but she always defended him. Eventually, she fired him in 2011, when an audit revealed that he had been siphoning funds from her hard work, and that was a painful form of betrayal from a man she trusted. She fired him and started her own management agency called Parkwood Entertainment. The agency was originally created to produce movies. The first movie the company produced lost $3 million, and the second one made up for it by making $70 million in the box office. However, people were quick to call out Beyonce's bad acting skills, and that was when she decided to make the agency a management company. The first artist she signed was a rapper called IB3, whose career never even took off because of poor management. The routine of Beyonce's management was to listen to the artist's records and then send them notes on what they needed to do to improve. Eventually, IB3 found out that Beyonce was never listening to her records, and that was why nothing was getting approved for release. IB3 felt so much anger and was inspired to write the song Love Drought. The song was eventually recorded by Beyonce, and she gave herself writing credits on the song. When people first heard the song, they thought it was about Beyonce's marital problems, when in reality, it was about IB3's frustrations at the deceit from the management. Um, but I wrote Love Drought in all seriousness. I was very frustrated with the label at the time. When Beyonce wasn't helping IB3's career move any further than it was, she decided to sign 15 and 17-year-old Chloe and Halle, and also Sophie Beam, who was a 17-year-old contestant on X Factor. Sophie Beam only got a two-year deal worth $560,000 and was not allowed to record because Beyonce didn't think it was time yet. Then, Queen Bee came up with another excuse that she wanted Sophie to be a part of a girl band so she wouldn't feel alone. Eventually, Sophie would leave the label without ever releasing her studio album that was already recorded, but Beyonce wasn't ready to share. Chloe and Halle, on the other hand, signed a million dollar deal for six albums, and to be honest, that was a steal. As if the deal wasn't bad enough, Beyonce would also get 15% of their revenue. The girls were young at the time, and their father just wanted a famous person to manage them. As a duo, Chloe and Halle only released two albums before they started pursuing a career in acting. Halle was more interested in acting, so she focused on that while Chloe created music. But their meeting with Beyonce would be what would hold Chloe back from reaching her full potential. And let us tell you why. Chloe has been blessed with amazing vocals and a flexible body that allows her to dance with ease. But she has only released a handful of songs, which has been detrimental to her career. When you start to gain momentum as an artist, you're to maintain it by sharing more songs consistently. But Chloe only releases a song when she gets permission from Beyonce. Beyonce is almost always on tour or preparing for a performance, so Chloe has to wait until Beyonce listens to her songs and gives her the go-ahead. Then the manner through which the criticism of the song comes is also hard to understand. After Beyonce sends her notes, Chloe has to go over them with a team from the management, and that is another time-wasting process. After taking notes from Beyonce, Chloe has to wait for approval again, and during all that time, she could have released any song she wanted to. But she can't. Then to make it worse and show that Beyonce may have been just as bad a manager as her father, Chloe did an Instagram poll where she asked her audience which songs they wanted on her album. After her over 6 million followers had given their answers, Beyonce decided to go in the opposite direction. Chloe came with the unfortunate news that Beyonce liked a different set of songs, exactly what the audience didn't like, and that was what she was going to release. When the album dropped, it was met with rightful criticism because most of the songs did not slap. There was no way Beyonce didn't know those songs were not going to make waves because she creates good music herself. So why did she make those selections? What was she trying to achieve? Is there more to her record label than we know? 
Now, when it comes to the conversation of Chloe Bailey being a copycat, it is met with raised eyebrows because she was mentored by Beyonce. Even if you are not a fan of Beyonce, you know that the artist has amazing work ethics where she trains for hours on end and her artists have also adopted the lifestyle. But most importantly, they have gleaned a few ideas from her like iconic dance breaks in between shows and her vocal dexterity. So when people say Chloe Bailey is copying Beyonce, it should actually be Chloe Bailey learned from Beyonce. If she weren't a direct mentee of Beyonce, then we can understand the argument, but not when she's learning directly from Beyonce. But if Chloe is being managed by an artist as iconic as Beyonce, why is her career not far along? Chloe undeniably has incredible talent, and considering how long she has been in the industry, she's supposed to be shutting down stadiums. However, the kind of songs she releases don't particularly fit her voice, if you know what we mean. Beyonce seems to have a penchant for making her artists release her kind of music, and that has not reflected well in Chloe's career. There's a common defense for why Beyonce is not doing a great job in managing Chloe, which is that a working artist cannot effectively manage another working artist. Beyonce has her own career to focus on, and considering that she does not have her own manager, it's a hassle to manage herself and other artists. The reason behind her turning Parkwood into a talent management agency was so that she could manage herself after firing her father. But when she saw how black artists get exploited with bad contracts, she decided to also extend her supposed management skills to other artists, and that's when things started going downhill. She was hoping that other artists wouldn't get exploited, but she ended up handing questionable deals to the young artists she signed. As Beyonce decided to extend her management skills to Chloe, she in the process dimmed her light. Chloe Bailey had to wait for endless permissions to get her songs out there, and Beyonce didn't have time to spare for all that. Another theory about why Chloe's career is not far along now is that Beyonce is intentionally sabotaging her. Let's use Sophie Beam as a case study for this argument. When Beyonce signed the teenager to her label, Sophie could not record any songs because Beyonce felt it wasn't the right time. The reason Sophie was on X Factor was to get a chance to get a record deal and get her music out there. So why did Beyonce sign her right after she left the show if she knew she wasn't going to allow her to release music yet? To make it even worse, after Sophie went through two years of training, she left the label and never renewed her contract. Ever since, Sophie has not been singing, instead deciding to go to college to study music. It seemed like Beyonce only signed Sophie so no other label would take her because if Sophie had gotten involved with another label, her career would have been way better than now. She had an amazing voice and according to the team, she was a great dancer, but none of her talents were ever fully explored and that shows that Beyonce doesn't really care for her artists. Now, let's get back to Chloe. How does Sophie's story fit into her story? Before Chloe became popular, Beyonce saw how much power her voice carried and her dancing talent was impressive. But Beyonce signed her to her label and never spent enough time promoting her sound. If Beyonce actually cared about taking Chloe's career forward, she would have brought her on tour multiple times or made her open her shows. But instead, Beyonce seemed to be interested in having people worship her for trying to help black artists rather than actually helping them. If you check the social media platforms of other artists that have labels, you would see them promoting the artist signed to them. Why? Because their platform is the fastest way to get the name of their artist out there. But if you check Beyonce's page, it's covered with pictures of her and her family. Beyonce had her daughter by her side throughout her Renaissance World Tour, and people got to see Blue Ivy's talent as a dancer. Her daughter has also won a Grammy for her feature on her mother's song, making her the youngest Grammy winner in history. So it's not like Beyonce doesn't know how to promote talents, but why is she doing it for her only? Chloe Bailey could have opened Beyonce's tour on different occasions and shown herself to a new audience. Whenever she has a new song coming out, Beyonce can share the soundbite to get people excited. When Chloe appears on shows, Beyonce can share it to bring more visibility to the singer. However, Beyonce seems more self-absorbed and wouldn't care if her artist went far or not. The only reason the debate of Chloe copying Beyonce or not is because of poor management and she hasn't reached her full potential yet. She still has her contract with Beyonce intact and can't change labels. But if there's a real issue, it would be wise for her to try a legal route to get out of the unfavorable working condition.